gradient gradient how to apply a gradient fill how to apply a gradient fill in photoshop the gradient tool creates a grid wall blend between multiple colors by the way and you can choose from preset gradient fill or create your own and not here please you can't use by the way the gradient tool with bitmap or indexed color images we have steps here step number one to fill part of the image should select the desired area and otherwise the gradient fill is applied to the entire active layer step number two should select the gradient tool and if the tool isn't visible hold down the paint bucket tool step number three in the options bar choose a fill from the white gradient sample and we have two options you should click the triangle next to the symbol to pick a preset gradient fill and after that click inside the symbol to view the gradient editor and select a preset gradient fill or create a new gradient fill and is a natural density preset provides a helpful photographic filter for sunsets sunsets and other high contrast scans by the way number four step number four select an option to determine how the how the starting point and where the mouse is pressed, pressed and ending point and where the mouse is released and effect gradient appearance so what about linear gradient linear gradient is meaning shades it shades from the starting point to the ending point in the straight line like this image now Radial gradient is meaning it shifts from the starting point to the ending point in a circular pattern. And angular gradient is meaning it shifts in a counterclockwise quanta swipe around the starting point. And reflected gradient is meaning mirrors the same linear gradient on either side on the, of the starting point. And demon gradient is meaning shifts from the middle to the outer corners of a demon pattern. Step number five: Do one of the following options bar. Should to specify a blending mode and opacity for the paint. See blending modes. See blending modes. And to reverse the order of colors in the gradient field, select reverse. And to create a smoother blend with less blending, select this here and to use a transparency mask for the gradient fill select transparency and this is beside the gradient transparency step number six position the pointer in the image where you want to set the starting point of the gradient and drag to find to, to define the end point to constrain the line angle to a multi multiple of 45 degrees hold down shift as you drag how to select a gradient in the gradient panel and how to use new presets in photoshop how to use new presets in photoshop you should apply gradient to layers and to apply a gradient to text layers as a layer effects do any of the following you should select one or more text layers in the layers panel and then click uh, and then click any gradient in the gradient panel to apply it and after that drag a gradient from the gradient panel onto the text cont content on the canvas area and then drag a gradient from the gradient panel onto a layer in the layers panel and how to apply the gradient to shape layers uh, as shape fill do any of the following again you should select one or more text layers in the layers panel firstly and then click any gradient in the gradient panel to apply it then drag a gradient from the gradient panel onto the text content on the canvas lay area after that drag a gradient from the gradient panel onto a layer in the layers panel and to apply a gradient to text layers or chip layers as a fill layers do any of the following again you should hold command if you use mac and alt if you use windows and drag a gradient from the gradient panel onto the text content on the canvas area after that hold command if you use mac and alt if you use windows and drag a gradient from the gradient panel onto a layer in the layers panel again and to apply a gradient to pixel layers do any of the following actually we have two steps here in this point step number one you should drag a gradient from the gradient panel onto a pixel layer in the layers panel firstly and number two step number two photoshop automatically creates about about adjustment and fill layers on top of pixels layer and how to organize 
gradient presets into groups. How to organize gradient presets into groups? To organize gradients under a new group, we have steps. Step number one is the gradient panel. You should to select Windows, choose Windows, then choose gradients, and after that, click the create new group icon. Step number two is specify a group name and then click OK. Step number three, drag a gradient or use the shift key to select multiple gradients to drag them inside the group. And to create nested groups, we have two steps again. Step number one, select a group in the gradient panel. After that, step number two, now drag and drop that group under another group. And how to show legacy gradients? How to show legacy gradients? From the, gra from the gradient panel menu, it shows legacy gradients. And how to return to the default gradient presets? How to return to the default gradient, gradient presets? You have to choose restore default gradients from the gradient panel menu. And you can either replace the current list or, 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 or append the default library to the current list. How to change preset gradients are displayed? Change how preset. Change how preset gradients are displayed. You should to choose a display option from the gradient panel menu. After that, we have options here inside this point. First option, text only. Text only is meaning displays the gradient as a list. Second option is small or large thumbnail. It's meaning displays the gradients as thumbnails. And the third option is a uh, small or large list. It's meaning displays the gradients as a list with thumbnails. How to rename a preset gradient? How to rename a preset gradient? If the panel is set to display gradient as thumbnail, by the way, double click a gradient, enter a new name, and then click OK. And if the panel is set to display gradients as a list or text only, double click a gradient and then enter a new name in line and press enter if you use Windows or return if you use Mac OS. That's fine. Uh, so what about gradient editor overview? Gradient editor overview. To display the gradient editor dialog box, click the current gradient sample in the op options bar. And when you, ha you hover over the gradient sample, a tool tab reading click to edit gradient appears, by the way. And the gradient editor dialog box lets you, by the way, define a new gradient by modifying a copy, a copy of an existing gradient. And you can also add intermediate colors to a gradient and creating a blend between more than two colors, by the way, like this screenshot now. This image now consists of gradient editor A and P and C. And AS meaning gradient editor, sorry, AS meaning panel menu. And B opacity to stop. AS meaning panel menu and the B opposite stop and the C color stops and D adjust the values or delete the selected opacity or color stop and E is meaning midpoint. That's fine. And how to save a set of presets gradients as a library? How to save a set how to save a set of preset gradients as a library? We have steps again. Step number one. You should click save in the gradient editor dialog box uh, and choose save gradient from uh, the gradient picker menu in the options bar firstly. Step number two, you should choose a location for the gradient library, then enter a file name and then click save. And you can also save the library anywhere and however, if you place the library file in the presets and gradients folder in the default preset location, the library name by the way will appear at the bottom of the panel menu after you receive Photoshop after sorry after after you restart Photoshop. How to load a library of preset gradients? How to load a library of preset gradients? Do one of the following to load library of preset gradients. You should click load to add to a library to the current list. Then select the library file you want to use and then click load. After that, choose replace gradients from the panel menu to replace the current list with a different library. Then select the library file you want to use and then click load. Fine. And how to choose? After that, sorry, after that, choose a library file from the bottom of the panel menu. Then click OK to replace the current list or click Append to append the current list. Note and be careful here in this point, please. You can also choose load gradients and replace gradients or choose a library of gradients from the gradient picker menu in the options bar. Be careful. And how to create a smooth gradient?
how to create a smooth gradient we have options again again here now option number one select the gradient tool after that step number step number two click inside the gradient sample in the options bar to display the gradient editor dialog box step number three to place the new gradient on an existing gradient select a gradient in the precise section of the dialog box step number four choose solid from the gradient type pop-up menu step number five to define the starting color of the gradient, click the left color stop and under the gradient bar, the triangle above the stop turn, turn is back and indicating that the starting color is being editing, edited by the way. Step number 6. To choose the color, do one of the following. You should double click the color stop and or click the color swatch in the stop section of the dialog box and choose the color and then click OK. And choose an option from the color pop-up menu in the stops section of the dialog box. And after that position, the pointer over the gradient bar and this pointer turns into the eyedropper and click as to, to, to sample a color or click anywhere in the image to sample a color from the image. Step number 7. To define the ending color, click the right color stop under the gradient bar and then choose a color. Step number 8. To adjust the location of the starting point or ending point, do one of the following. Drag the corresponding color, stop left or right, to the location you want. After that, click the corresponding color, stop and enter a value for location in the stop section of the dialog box. And a value of 0% places that point at the far left end of the gradient bar and a value of 100% at the far right end. Step number 9. To adjust the location of the midpoint where the gradient displays an even mix of the starting and ending colors, drag the diamond and below the gradient bar to the left or right or click the diamond and enter a value for location. Step number 10. To add intermediate colors to a gradient, click below the gradient bar to define an other color stop and specify the color and adjust the location and midpoint for the intermediate point as you would for for a starting or ending point step number 11 to delete the color stop you are editing click delete or drag the stop downwards until it disappears step number 12 to control how gradual the transitions uh, are between color bands in the gradient enter a value in the smooth uh, smoothness text box or drag the smoothness the smoothness pop up slider Step number 13. If desired, set transparency value values for the gradient. Step number 14. Enter a name for the new gradient. Step, step number 15. To save the gradient as a preset, click new after you have finished creating the gradient. Note and be careful please. New presets are saved in a preferences file. And if this file is deleted or damaged, or if you see or if you receive presets to the default library, the new presets by the way will be lost to permanently save new presets, save them in a library. How to specify the gradient transparency? Each gradient by the way field contains setting that control the opacity of the field at different locations on the gradient. For example, you can set the starting color to 100% opacity and have the field gradu gradually blend into an ending color with 50% opacity. The checkboard pattern indicates the amount of transparency in the gradient preview by the way. We have steps. Step number one, create a gradient. Number two, to adjust the starting opacity, click the left opacity, stop above the gradient bar and the triangle below. The stop turn is black, indicating that the starting transparency is being edited by the way. Step number three. In the stop section of the, the, the dialog box, enter a value in the opacity text box or drag the opacity pop up slider. Step number four. To adjust the opacity of the end point, click the right transparency, stop above the gradient bar, then set the opacity in the stop section. Step number five. To adjust the location of the starting or ending opacity, do one of the following. Drag the corresponding opacity, stop to the left or right. Then select the corresponding opacity stop and enter a value for location. Step number six. To adjust the location of the midpoint opacity, 
the point midway between the starting and ending of Obsidus and one of the following again try to drag the diamond above the gradient bar to the, to the left or right and then select the diamond and enter a value for location step number 7 to delete the opacity stop you are editing and then click delete step number 8 to add an intermediate opacity to the mask click above the gradient bar to define a new opacity stop and you can then adjust and move this opacity as you would for a starting and or ending opacity to remove an intermediate opacity drag x transparency stop up stop up and off the gradient bar step number nine to create a preset gradient enter a name in the name text box and click new this creates by the way a new gradient preset with the transparency setting you specified how to create a noise gradient how to create a noise gradient a noise gradient is a gradient that contains randomly randomly distributed colors within the range of colors that you specify by the way like this screenshot now explain for you explain for you noise gradient with different roughness values and we have a and b and c a 10 percent roughness and b 50 percent roughness and c 90 percent roughness and we have steps here now step number one select the gradient tool Step number two, click in the gradient sample in the options bar to display the gradient editor dialog box. Step number three, to paste the new gradient on an existing gradient, select a gradient in the presets section of the dialog box. After that, step number four, choose noise from the gradient type pop-up menu and set the following options again. Roughness, what's the meaning of roughness? Roughness is the meaning controls how gradual the transitions are between color bands in the gradient. And color model, what's the meaning of, of, of color model? It's the meaning changes the color components you can adjust for each component and, and then drag the slider, then drag the sliders to define the range of acceptable values. For example, if you choose the HSP, HSP model, you can restrict the gradient to blue green and hues and high saturation and medium brightness. And what's the, what's the meaning of restrict restrict colors? It's the meaning prevent us over saturated colors. And what's the meaning of add transparency? Add transparency is the meaning that adds transparency to random colors. So what's the meaning of rand randomize? Randomize is the meaning randomly creates a gradient that that conforms to the setting above and click the button until you find a setting you like. Step number five. To create a preset gradient with the setting you have specified, enter a name in the name text box, then click new.